Hi guys, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. First off, I want to apologise if my voice sounds a little strange. I'd done a live stream yesterday and ever since then, my voice has been killing me. I was pondering not recording today just because of how sore my throat is and how bad I've been coughing, coughing. but um, I haven't recorded in a couple of days and now the dog downstairs barking. It's all off to a great start, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's been a few days and I really want to get back into the regular recording schedule again. So examine the fallen blocks. Um, Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. Damn right, Sherlock. Okay. So we'll have a look around this area again. Because, um, I don't recall all the details of the case yet. I remember we're still fairly early on, though. I still think there was stuff I might be missing. Mr. Holmes? Hey, policeman. Mr. Phillips. Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Uh, can you tell us what happened? Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night? Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. He wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Uh, were there any other visitors? Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. What happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room? Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. Who brought the champagne? There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. Do you have any idea who left it there? There is? Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe that it's important? That's a bit weird to ask. Hmm. Let's look at him. So he's got some light wrinkles. Starched collar, fastidious. Manchester City. Telegram sent today. Nothing there. Anything else I'm missing? Shiny buttons. So this guy takes sort of pride in his work. Oh! Scissor cut, grooms himself, lives alone. Okay. So we can find a use for the tongs, search the archives, and perform an analysis. I've got a new character portrait, Alan Phillips. Phillips is from both... Phillips is from Manchester. He takes care of both himself and the establishment where he works, and he is seen as a good employee. He went out this morning to send a telegram, probably to his hometown. Right, I'm going to go back through here. Pretty sure I've seen everything in here. I just can't help but think there's something I'm missing. Alright, well I can examine the blood. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. See ah see? I'm a genius. Covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. 
I knew it. I had a feeling I was forgetting something. Right. Or not forgetting something, but I had a feeling there was more to this room. I guess would be a little more accurate to say. Phillips. My man. Got to ask you about a key. Ah, uh, can you tell me about the steam room keys? How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then? I put the key inside my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Ah... Uh... The morning telegram, yeah? You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning, and you went to the post office, where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. Mr. Holmes, it's imp... I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes, and I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. I see. Oh no, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna tell anyone. Sorry, Mr. Phillips. Right, um I guess we should probably Search a crime scene area in the area of the Strandling Bath. So there's still more. More analyses to perform and we still need to find the missing weapon. Alright. I still feel like I'm missing something. It's to do with when I turn the, the steam off. Also, are they going to talk to me now? I found him. I touched his shoulder, thinking that he was just asleep. Doesn't look I like it. I can't understand what happened. Am I allowed to leave? If you have to interrogate me, I'd like to be dressed properly first. Oh, glassy. Oh, I never noticed this. Or dead, but I never thought to look One at it. One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. Oculus Reparo. Because it's like Harry Potter glasses. Get it? lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. Ooh, me too. Alright, search the ashes. Oh, finally, maybe use for a tongs then. I'm trying to move this. Guess I can't move that. What am I supposed to be moving? This? Why are you not moving? There we go. I should analyze this melted metal. From an analysis, but there's still more to search here. Um, nothing up behind here. I feel like there's something more to do with this steam Jim switch. Newell and Sons, steam specialists, Seattle, WA. But then, I don't know, it doesn't really... I don't know. Steam on. I'm unable to see even a few feet away. So it takes him into this mode, but I swear I don't see anything new. This case is going to be the death of me, I think, because I just can't seem to work this little bit out. See? It's like just showing me the switch again. Right. I'm gonna go examine the other places again. Not happy with your game. I'm just not understanding what I'm supposed to do now. Right. I guess we'll look at their clothes again. Or see if there's anything I missed around here. I wonder how long they're gonna stand in there. I guess until I've searched this area. 
Oh, also, can we speak to Lestrade about the... Never mind. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? Go ahead. Wait, wait? Oh my god, I... I don't know. Yeah, go. I don't... No, why would I... What? Why would I say wait? I'm so confused. Alright, well, examine the scene. We next? Oh, you're Watson. That's not who I wanted. Anyway. Find the missing weapon, though. There's obviously a weapon still here. Like, could it be that area that's blocked off? But we couldn't move the stones, could we? I'm not seeing anything here. I've searched all these areas. Back out. I was thinking, like, did we tell the Strad that we want these moved? It does not matter. Our investigation does require it, I think. Where the hell is this damn murder weapon? Alright, well... I think we'll go home and do the various analysis... This analysis The various stuff we need to analyse. We'll do that. And then we'll question the suspects and then probably go back to Strandlane Baths to see what I'm missing or what I am missing. I don't think we've got any deductions yet, have we? Effective arrival. Sir Bodding's arrival saved the archaeological research at the Baths and the Champagne. That's not really a connection, I wouldn't say. Oh, Dobby! Dobby has a good boy. For the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. Ah, <gasps> Watson, you dare. And lies of dirt. All right, I got dirt. I'm analyzing the heck out of it. No, yeah, yeah. So. Is that all you're going to say, Sherlock? Pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold. Okay, well there has to be something else then. White clay particles. Interesting. According to the colour and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. Okay, uh... The sample Where? of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, located near the city of St Albans. Analyze the blood. Let us analyze this blood sample. This blood has not coagulated well. It seems very liquid. That is strange. Let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. I All must right. take a pipette and place several drops of hydrogen. Pipette. Peroxide. Okay. And we'll just dab it onto the blood, I suppose. Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water. Right, analyze metal. This is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. I'm going to melt it. This sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes right. color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. God bless Queen Vic on that. Uh, I coin there. Oh yeah, pipette. Don't want to just throw the acid on, obviously. Come on, Annelise. Alright, I'm doing the coin first. Poor Queen Vic. The reaction is the same red stain. It is silver. 
Britannia silver quality. My analysis table. Oh, it is useful we're done. For my work. I want to do more analysis, please. I know, kind of. Whatever. So we'll get dialogue, search the archives, and some more dialogue about the champagne. Right, I'm guessing it would be the papers we would search. Sir Bentcliffe. Um, Sir Bentcliffe. Not recall seeing his name here before. Bentcliffe, don't see it. Nor there. Nor there. Oh, oh, Bentcliffe's mummy. The great excavation in Asuan has taken over three years. Sir Rodney Bentcliffe directed the archaeological work. A mummy was found with an enucleated, enucleated eye and posed in an unusual position. The right hand was tensed as if reaching out for something or to someone. The mummy was buried upright. She has been named the Desperate Mummy due to her very peculiar characteristics. Nearby could be read in Latin. By the eye, he was punished for his soul, which he was not worthy. The mummy is believed to be Roman rather than Egyptian, as some symbols found in the tomb are in common with the Mithraic mysteries. Here it is. By the eye, he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Alright, well, I'll just write that out. And I guess we will go to Scotland Yard, which is here. I feel like the murder went might be beyond that area that's been ro uh, that the rocks fell down. I feel like that must be where it is. But I'm just wondering when the investigation is going to unlock that area for us to look through. Hopefully soon. Oh, continue. Oh, I think it's different people in here again. I like how they do that. Right, so we need to look at the suspect's belongings, which is through here. Alright, we'll look at Bentcliffe's first. Duh. No, I said Bentcliffe's. It's taking things a little while to render the, uh, the visuals. Right, we've got a map. Coin. It's clearly old. An old and rather dirty coin. We've got a notebook. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson. Please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. Heck yeah. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. All right. Is that a few strokes enough for you? I'm not very good at this stroking. Come on. What, do you just want me to colour it all in then? My god, man. Could have just specified. It's more than a few strokes. And then okay. you gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. <laughs> Alright. Oh, now I can read it. That's great. Today I almost found this date will go down in history. Almost found it. What did he almost find? Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. 
Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well... Come on. Obviously you must. I must inspect the body. Alright. Got a ring. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. What's that? You see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too with silver. An, An old symbol. symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. All right. Well, this is where I'm going to wrap up this part here, and we'll search the other people's beginnings, beginnings, belongings next time. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all having an amazing day, and I love you all. Bye.